The purpose of this video is to show you how to set up your cleaning cart. We will talk about the tools and supplies you will need to have on your cart so you can do your part in infection control throughout the work shift. As you start your shift, make sure you have the tools and supplies you will need to do your job well. Before you start getting the supplies and setting up your cart, you need to make sure you put on the right kinds of personal protective equipment, which I will call PPE from now on. Two items you need to make sure you have are gloves and protective eyewear. When you are mixing chemicals, it is important to put on protective eyewear so you do not get chemicals splashed in your eyes. If you wear eyeglasses, they will not protect you from chemical splashes. You still need to wear protective eyewear over your eyeglasses. As you stock your cart, make sure you have the tools and supplies you will need to do your job. The tools and supplies you will need on your cart include a high duster, a lobby broom, a dustpan, a dust mop, a mop stick, mop heads, a mop bucket and ringer, a wet floor sign, and several cleaning cloths. You will also need empty bags or other containers that you will put your used cleaning cloths and mop heads in. One method of getting the cleaning cloths ready is known as bucket immersion. This is when you pre-fill a bucket with disinfectant solution and the folded cleaning cloths are placed in the bucket to soak. One reason this method is good is because the cleaning cloths are soaked with disinfectant and when you wipe down an object or surface with one of the cloths, the disinfectant stays on the surface or object for the right amount of time before it dries. The surface needs to remain wet for a period that meets manufacturer recommendations based on the type of disinfectant solution used at your facility. Plan ahead when you are putting your supplies on your cart so you have enough with you to do your job until it is break time. That is when you can restock your cart with more supplies. The used cleaning cloths and mop heads are very heavy by the end of your shift. They might be too heavy to safely carry. Talk to your supervisor about when you should restock your cart with cleaning cloths and mop heads. You want to make sure you stock paper products such as toilet paper, paper towels, toilet seat strips, if these are used in your facility where you work, and facial tissue, as well as hand soap and alcohol-based hand rub on your cart. Just like the other supplies you are putting on your cart, make sure you have enough paper products with you until it is time to restock your cart. You do not need to put the whole day's supply of paper products on your cart at the start of your shift. The last part of setting up your cart is to get the cleaning and disinfection chemicals ready. First, put on your protective eyewear and make sure your cart has glass cleaner, toilet bowl cleaner, and a general purpose cleaner, such as degreaser, disinfectant solution, and floor cleaning solution. Please check with your supervisor about how often you will need to pour out and get fresh cleaning solutions throughout your shift. Sometimes the solution is changed after cleaning three rooms or a couple of large areas, but your supervisor can tell you what the policy is where you work. Cleaning carts are easily contaminated with germs during your shift. Personal items like phones, food, and drinks should never be placed on the carts or stored on them. Work with your supervisor to find out where to store your phone, food, or drinks. If you have to keep your phone in your pocket, do not touch it or use it until after you have done hand hygiene. Let's review the key points of setting up your cart. First, make sure you have the tools and supplies to do your job and play your part in infection control. You should never have any food, drinks, or personal items, such as a cell phone, on your cart. Having these items puts you at risk because of all the dirty surfaces and objects you will be cleaning. It is easy to get germs on them without even knowing it. This also puts patients, residents, and other staff at risk because you might not remember to clean them and get the germs off before you touch other objects. It is easy to spread germs around without even knowing it. 